great, Adam. All right. These are three of my good friends mm -hmm. who do bodyguard work and protection. Right. Let's look at some <laughs> weapons. All right. Mm -hmm. well, this is a bar. This is where a lot of stuff happens, right? Give protect. us some tips here. Give Adam some tips. The first thing you want to do when you walk into the bar is kind of side with the whole situation all at once. Kind of look around, watch for any kind of hot spots. When Dave is talking to you, listen to him. Don't look around okay. and look like a furry pussycat. Okay, I got it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was confused. I'll look at Dave. Look at Dave and listen. I will. Okay, listen, so listen. I'm listening. Okay, so. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to walk in. Don't think about finding a woman to take home. And remember this, you cannot compete with the energy of the neighborhood. You're in a neighborhood now that's a bar. Okay. It's not your neighborhood, but don't compete with that energy because you'll find yourself, in your case, running head. backwards like a crawdad. Okay. Here's how I'd walk into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I'd come here and I'd stop. I'd gently scan like radar. You see where the hot pockets are. You go. <laughs> Whoa! Bam! He's gone. He's gone. Okay, so throw things. Okay. Well, don't throw things. Bye. Just make some movement. Make some sound. See, you notice, Adam, how he came in with that self-confidence? Right. Other people can pick up on that. You yeah. know, particularly uh, street people. They're very sensitive to uh, intuition, to your Ooh. confidence. Ooh, Ooh. that's good. Right, yeah. You know? Okay. I'm going to do a knife takeaway with you, and I want you to uh, hold the knife out like this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, so bring it out at me. Okay. I'm gonna come out. Like ah! I want ah! you to yeah. try it on me real quick. Yeah, right? try it on Dave. Alright. It's like that. Like that, but it's okay. real hard. Okay. Pop it. Well, a little harder than that. Pop, pop, pop it. Okay, All right. harder than that. Uh -huh. or, 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 or Gary can do it. Pop, pop, pop. Bam. Okay. Go ahead, Gary. Over it. Okay. <laughs> See? See? Gary thought I learned enough about physical protection. He decided I need to learn about another aspect of protection. And trust me, it was mental. I, I can't do this. In martial arts and karate, when somebody thinks that they're going to attack you, they already attacked you mentally, so you can defend oh, yourself. Man, that's so good. You've got to be that's ready good. for it. Mental attacks usually come before the physical. Mm -hmm. right? Like Definitely. you mentally attack me a lot. You use your mind against me. No, don't use it against you. Oh, okay. I use it to ensure your common sense and value of free thinking in the world of protection okay. and getting away from fear, okay. you village idiot. Okay. So watch, he's got this real zen look because I've known him for a long time. And watch, he can look at you very threatening too. And just look at the difference in his eye. Okay, do buddy, do buddy first. Do buddy's like this, how you doing? How you doing? Pretty okay. good. Okay, watch the difference. Sir. Okay. <clears throat> He's already trying to beat you mentally if something happens. So what should I do at this point? Nothing. Just stay still. <laughs> okay, you're gonna finish it. I can read your body physics. Okay. Yeah. Below the waist, you have a sad zone. <laughs> Is it ever advisable to throw something and then run? Oh. Um. Yeah, what if you hit a nun in the head with a rock? What would you think then, little that boy? That would be disaster. Well, I'd be put away for a long okay, time. Okay, so don't throw the okay, rock no at the nun. Then don't throw the rock at the I nun. I won't throw the rock at the nun. It was just, just in my head. It was a scenario, not in real life. Shh, shh, shh. Okay. There was actually a saying that I tell a lot of my students that I pull from one of your movies, and it's fear causes hesitation, but hesitation will cause your worst fears to come true. So just remember that. <laughs> remember that. <laughs> hey, hey, all right, buddy. <laughs> ah! So I guess I uh, should explain the whole suit thing. Gary told me to come dressed as a potentate. So after I looked up the word in the dictionary, I figured out what he had in mind. He wanted me to come dressed as a head of state so he could protect me. The only problem is, Gary's got a need for speed. All How's right. going? Your trunk's open. It's supposed to be. With the air brake? Adam, I want you to meet Bobby Orr. Nice to meet you. Well, let's he's, go, what's the, going he's, on? he's the best in protective driving. Okay. And that's what I'm going to take you into now, show you some protective driving. Why did you have me dress up in a suit? This is Adam La Pena. He's the president of the Mexican Pizza Foundation. What? You are the okay. Mexican Pizza Foundation president, so quit denying it. Do you uh, have insurance? No, I don't have any insurance. Wait, where does the driving come into play? To protect yourself while you're driving? When you're on the road, you never know what's going to come up around you or how you're going to slide into a place to be safe. You get out of the way of something that's going to happen to take your oh, life. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. A lot of accidents happen. All right, I'm ready to learn. Yeah, it sounds good. So are you going to be driving and showing us how no, to do actually, it? Actually, I'm going to let Gary take you out. You know how to do this? Yeah. How, from the movies? Yeah. What movie? Yeah. 
What, what movie? What movie did you drive? Well, and Lethal Weapon. Okay, yeah, that. But yeah, no you were crashing it. all over in Lethal Weapon. Am I really gonna be driving with you? Yeah, let's go. Let's get, let's get in. That's the car. It's yeah. not like a stunt car or anything, is it? It doesn't need to be a stunt car. What kind of car is it? It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a red car. We're gonna dangerous. play life and death with those cones. All right. So what are we doing? I'm gonna go right down here. You haven't told me anything about what we're doing. We're gonna do a little slalom thing. Okay. Thirty. Okay. And then what do you do? Oh. Okay. Wait, wait. What are we doing now? Oh yeah. All right. That's enough. That's enough. We got it. We missed it. You missed it? You're getting worse and worse at this. We're not good anymore. Hey. Sweet Lord in heaven! You have no idea what you're doing right now, do you? You were not good. I don't know if you were ever good. Go! There you go! Smell that rubber. You get good? And I got seasick. Loosen your tie. Alright. All right. I'm about your coat. Alright. Alright, yeah. I did the best I could. I wasn't perfect. That was awesome up to a point, and then it stopped becoming awesome, then it was horrible. And then it was back to awesome. Normally, when this is done, yeah. we, we take the e-brake off and we don't drag it down the street. That slows us down. We don't smile as much. But other than that, it wasn't too bad. And I'm, yeah, I'm, so, on. I'm so glad you're okay. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad too. <laughs> you come back and see us. You okay? <coughs> Mine. We got any vomit bags? No. Oh, just got a little seasick. Just put it on. Put it down there. Okay, so here's the idea. Gary, uh, Gary was trying to protect me from the bad guys who were shooting at us uh, through using defensive driving. But the way he was driving, he made me think I, he could be a double agent. How are you feeling? Good, I guess. I okay. mean, you've already been through everything. Yeah, so you're going to protect me in the car, right? Well, I'm going to show you what, what it's all about. What's going on? What are we doing now? Okay, so you're trying to protect me? Yeah. Protect me? Yeah. Okay. It's like driving around. You don't know what's behind you. Don't okay, you don't know what's going on. on. Okay, and then what? Well, well you're just driving along. You're like... So Gary's method of protecting me, putting the car in park and letting the guy in the copter shoot out the windows. Yeah, that's what it's that. I'm dead. I'm what do you think? I'm that is great. It's great. I'm dead. No, you're not dead. I'm protecting you. This is really, great. You really protected me. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're good. You got protected. You just killed this me. This is protected. This I know. is. You're not dead. I know I'm not dead. Your stupid suit is not stained. All right, all right, all right. Adam, come on. No, I'm no, taking no, you no. up. No, 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 no. I don't Adam. fly. Adam. I don't ever fly. Adam. Yeah, you are. I don't fly, Gary. Gary, I don't fly. Adam. This isn't a fear episode. Adam, this is, come on. This is, no, I never fly. You come fly. On. You show me. Adam, come on. Adam, get over here. Adam, I'll be back with you later. It's all right. Woo! So what did I learn about protection? Uh, with Gary 500 feet in a copter, I feel protected and safe. Biederman. All right. Hey. Hey, what's happening? Hey, man, you packing? Yeah, yeah, I'm packing. I got a gun. Really? Right. Well, I'm Gary. I'm Adam. Hi, Adam. What do you do? I see uh, your white belt. Yeah, I'm a white belt. Fear of danger can turn you into a ranger of self-demolition. Got it. Got get it. up. Get up. I won't be afraid get up of you. Get up. Get up. Okay. I'll slap you in the head with a gun. No, no, no. It's okay. a rubber gun. It's okay. a rubber gun. Okay. <laughs> it's rubber. It's rubber. Eek.